day is progressing. Good. Forty years ago, the dream became a reality. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Astronaut Neil Armstrong leaped into the history books, the first man on the moon. Buzz Aldrin was right behind him. Well, it certainly was a high point of my life. While Armstrong shuns the spotlight, Aldrin is basking in it, making the rounds. To him, it seems only like a blip in time has passed since President Kennedy declared America would go to the moon. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon. Three, two, one. Just eight years after Kennedy's words, we have a Aldrin, Armstrong, and fellow astronaut Michael Collins were shooting through space on Apollo 11. Then, while Collins stayed back orbiting in Apollo, Armstrong and Aldrin raced down to the surface on board the tiny lunar module. The Eagle has landed. In all, just 12 men walked on the moon, the last two, back in December of 1972. Soon after that, the Apollo project was abandoned for the space shuttle program. With the shuttle set to retire, America is building a new ship to go back to the moon by 2020. Aldrin feels we should have never abandoned the moon and is pleased NASA is setting its sights farther into space. We certainly should be uh, to Mars somewhere uh, in the early 2030s. Aldrin, always the pioneer, looking into the future on the day the world looks back and up to a place where man first set foot 40 years ago. Drew Levinson, CBS News, the Kennedy Space Center.